The key features we are looking at as a summary for DRM. First of all, there's more choice. Uh, on a single frequency, if you are running simulcast, even in addition to your existing analog transmission, you can give typically three additional programs. And that is quite uh, an opportunity. They want to keep the medium wave transmission on air and add in digital exclusive new content, exciting people to go and invest into receivers to get access to this exclusive new content, which is only available in digital. Good coverage we have seen with the RM as the open standard that serves all the broadcast bands for radio. You can go from local stations, individual broadcasters with their dedicated coverage area, up to national, even international transmissions very easily and effectively. Automatic tuning. The idea is that in the digital era, gone is the time when you have to memorize your station's frequency or the band. First select the band and then go to a specific frequency. The receiver shall give you a list of available services, whichever standard they are on, and then you can select your service. And it's the receiver's task to keep that service uh, tuned as long as possible, to switch frequencies, switch services, doesn't matter. That's the receiver's task. You want to enjoy the service and not be bothered with the rest. And finally, emergency warning. Let's start with having a look at multimedia applications. First, there is a set of standardized multimedia applications covering the different uh, types of multimedia content that should be included on a digital radio set. First of all, there are DRM text messages. These are small text samples showing up automatically on the screen triggered by the broadcaster. Then we have the MOT slideshow, that is the, the images. Same concept, they are passively showing up on the screen and they give useful information when you glance at the screen. And we learned recently that there's a huge opportunity for advertisements if you're a commercial broadcaster, obviously. The electronic program guide, EPG, tells you what's coming up in terms of programming. It may even allow you to search for specific programs or to schedule a recording on your device. That's device specific. And finally, the whole concept of traffic information. Very important. And thanks to digital radio, now also considered in countries that didn't have traffic services before, such as India. Uh, that obviously is for local coverage uh, in DRM, not so much the international transmission. And then there is Journaline as another text service, very simple to implement, text only, which is meant for local interactivity. So while text messages provide you with useful information, typically program related, whenever you glance at the screen, what is the current artist, the song, title and so on, in Journaline uh, you can look up information on demand. Uh, what's the local weather forecast for for my region in, in two days? Or what is the, the cinema show times? What is the show background information for the current show I'm tuned to? Such information. Next thing is emergency warning. Emergency warning in DRM um, uses or is a combination of features that are part of the standard anyway. It's not a new it's not a new standard or application in itself. It just really combines what's there to achieve the goal, to make sure that both manufacturers and broadcasters understand the potential for this particular application that digital radio gives. The task is to inform the public with maximum reach and as quickly as possible. So we're not looking at dedicated receivers, alert panels, whatever. We want to reach everybody, ideally whether they are on the move, in the car, at home, at work, wherever radio is present. And as we've heard, radio has the widest spread and widest use around the world.